Unless you live like Patrick Starr or you still use a flip phone, the odds are you've heard of this show. And you may have seen this one. Or this one. Or maybe this movie? Or perhaps this one? So how in the last five years or so have my Korean brothers and sisters, well I guess I should say South Korean because <laughs> become so prominent, I'll tell you. They're f***ing original. Originality in our day and age is something we find ourselves rarely accrediting to the art of cinema and TV, an art that really should always be original, but as of recent memory has not lived up to expectations. The business of the world really has kind of reared its head, and what sells tickets is what gets made. Procedurals, mirror matching films, the same takes on old ideas. There doesn't seem to be an ounce of creative juice flowing in the Hollywood jug. <clears throat> Excuse me. The crazy thing is, it's not like the Koreans are creating innovative new ideas. We're all familiar with their storylines, right? Zombies, Christian themes, rags to riches porn, competitions where contestants put their lives on the line, revenge if you want to go back to more classic examples. So what is it? What do they do differently? I'll tell you, they make stories with everyday people like you or me. People with loan debt aspirations, sensitive personalities, flawed morality, and then they make them do the craziest shit or deal with the craziest shit. And often, what they deal with is like a scenario we post to one another in a moment of boredom or under the influence of insert substance here. Like we've all asked someone or been asked one of these, would you compete in this or that for a million dollars? Would you kill he or she for this or that? What would you do if the apocalypse started? These shows marry the outrageous and reality really well. They pit these everyday characters against these wild circumstances and we tag along to see what happens. Like, like, like a bunch of weirdos behind some plexiglass watching two bums in a poop slinging contest. I don't know. It's hard to think of American content willing to break the reality of our world. Our focal point always seems to be focused on making monsters and heroes out of regular folks. Sure, our films and TV deal with extraordinary scenarios, but we don't often take it to an absurd level. But the Koreans, <laughs> they don't ascend their characters. Their decisions don't become altruistic because they're the good guy. The good guys make regular and sometimes stupid decisions, and that's great. Because we all make stupid decisions. We are all stupid. Humans are stupid. That's why these shows and movies are so great. What the characters want matter, but they are no means over rewarded for making good decisions and they certainly face consequences for making bad ones, such as life. So, do yourself a favor and flick on a K-series. See the difference in character development and experience one of the most outlandish stories developed. It's worth it. But I beg you, please, please, whatever you do, do not watch it Was dubbed. That what you heard? You cried and said, but that's the edge. There's no way I'll go. Like that. Ah, that's great. Building an egalitarian society. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. This video has been brought to you by TubeBuddy. If you're a creator on YouTube and considering a start, try TubeBuddy. Out as a fresh resource to get the best tags for your content and help you find your niche audience. 
And if you decide to give it a try, please feel free to use my link below. It's personalized and will get me a small kickback so I can afford to buy food and make a living and not die of hunger in an alleyway somewhere. So thank you.